Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So we're going to be continuing here today with Imperial Sunrise DLC, or should I say Imperial Moonrise? Depends on which side of the coin you're on there. And that, uh, it kind of made me laugh at Moonrise. <laughs> no, moon, Moonset, that's it, Imperial Moonset. <laughs> right, I think... Um, I kind of got... Mm, I kind of had my ass handed to me in Japan. Not navally. Not sea, but on land would kind of collapse, so... I had initially figured that playing as the Japanese would have been easier, but in reality it actually turned out to be deceptively difficult. Uh, so we're gonna give it a go as the Japanese once again. Uh, we'll go with hard. Oh, veteran anyhow. Veteran obviously making it more difficult. Uh, but we'll go with veteran, and... We'll learn from our mistakes. Mm. I think obviously defeating the... Imperial Russian fleets, okay. Based out here by the Vostok and Port Alpha. Okay, doable, if not a pain in the backside. It's really, we need to like move quickly through Korea into, uh, I guess, like parts of what is today, Heilongjiang, Manchuria, uh, what the Russians control out here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Prime Minister continued Russian encroachment upon our gains from Japan, Qing War of 1894, Sino Qing War there. Uh, Sino Japanese War, I should say. Uh, not Sino Qing, that wouldn't make much sense. And endless delays in our negotiated efforts have left us with no option but to settle these disputes by force of arms. Okay, so the Imperial Navy has been constructed in the Yellow Sea, where our top boats are prepared to launch a preemptive strike on the Russian fleet. Much of the decisive blow has been inflicted upon the Tsar's navy. The land of mines around Port Arthur and the blockade of the port will prevent any surviving ships from escaping to join the Siberian fleet on our valleys of Vostok. The Russians may attempt to impose a blockade on our ports by a station of warships that are adjacent, are on or adjacent to the marked hexes along our coastline. Okay, so we must prevent them from essentially filling these hexes over here. The leadership of the army in is in agreement that a vast strategy is to repeat the campaign of 1894. In a surprise night maneuver, the first army has disembarked and seized control of Seoul. The Korean art government offering no resistance. I strongly recommend using these forces to advance north towards the Yalu, which we need to do. We just need to move faster. So the Japanese saw bitter boats launch a surprise attack on the Russian fleet at Port Arthur. And now we begin. Right, so, we have our forces over here. And, well, we have a couple of considerations here. Now, I, I could use them to attack the cruiser in porting her, uh, and that would be quite useful, I, I do agree. Uh, now, do note here, readiness of 83, morale 70, 83, 70. We do have a very good, very, very good commander here. But I'm just thinking, uh, let's see, force march... I don't think I can actually move right now with Force March. No. So Force March isn't an option right now. But we do need to move very quickly. I'm not really that concerned about attacking here. We will have Korea very, very soon. I need to get these men marching. Right, I can Force March over here, but And I think I may go ahead and do so. Yeah, that's really hurt the morale. Redis is still up there, but it's hurt the morale. But I need to get moving very quickly. Uh, the difficulty is that with the ice around here, I can't do too much navally. It would be nice to move them by a ship, but I can't do that right now. Uh, so we have to move them quick. I want to get them moving and really just, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. It needs to be there very quick. Now, we have the cruiser in port over here, so I'm going to use the torpedoes. Uh, the Marakumo will obviously suffer here, but it's not going to be too bad. She does have mines, so she will come in useful later on. Uh, let me double check. Can you guys hear everything okay? Is the sound okay? I'm hoping so. Maybe I could turn the background up and maybe change the game volume, but do let me know. Do let me know. Hopefully it's alright. Alright, bring the other torpedo here. Okay, manage it pretty nice. Uh, economical amount of force there deployed, which is quite good. So, we're going to have two fleets. Oh, we're going to have two ports of the fleets over here then, next turn. This one's not available right now, but it will be next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and actually have uh, the ships deployed here preemptively. I will want to have them repaired. Uh, the torpedo boats are actually really shockingly useful. 
Now, in terms of Japan, I need to get forces to sea. So, Harashima... I don't have any MPP this turn, so I can't put them to sea right now. Put them near the ports will definitely help. We do have the uh, Tsushima cruiser over here. Uh, move you to Masuyama. So Kobe. Uh, Maizuru would be alright. Uh, same as over here, actually. Uh, they were at Osaka. But I'd rather move them over here. They're going to move quicker through the Sea of Japan. Uh, much the same for these guys. Ah, uh, have them around here and then they can move north. Tokyo. Can't put them to sea right now. But I'm not going to move them either, it'll take longer to move them. But over here then at uh, Yokosuka and Yokohama, we have the cruiser Kasuga and Nishin. So we'll put them to sea then. Right, there we are. Okay, so put them to sea. Now I can go through the islands, or I can go around the north of Honshu. Uh, we'll go through the islands. Okay. And we have a cruiser Shishima. Now, there is the fleet of Revostok, which is actually iced in right now. So they're not really a worry. Uh, which is something I can at least work with. What I'd like to go ahead and do then is, let's see. I'll have the cruiser Shishima based here temporarily. And I'll just kind of use them to escort the forces up and down here. So let's go ahead and take a look then. So we have here then the torpedo boats. We have Kagero, uh, Igazuki, Hayabusa. Uh, so we have three of those torpedo boats there. Uh, the fort over here will respond on their turn. So we need to bear that in mind. We do have battleships over here, so I do need to concentrate on taking at least one of them. So we'll enter into the zone of control. We do see Russian forces over here then. Uh, but yes, we'll go ahead and place some torpedoes down. Okay. Damage done. Not bad. Alright. Trying to look for a choke point over here, really. Well, hold position here. Again, play torpedo. Ah, uh, not a terribly great result there. That's not terribly bad. Now, I could place mines. But it will restrict their movement. Obviously, I could have placed mines if I didn't go for the actual attack. But I'd rather go for the attack. So, let's take a quick look here then. Right. Let's just use cruisers for this. And I do have additional cruisers. I'm kind of hoping to get a... Right, it's not going to get the hit there that I need. So I'm going to need the actual... Uh, torpedo boats there. Of course, we did use the torpedo boats down here. So I can't essentially... Uh, I can't essentially use them for the attack I would prefer. Uh... But that'll come soon enough. These guys need to repair too. At least we'll have two of them that can be committed to the fight next turn, so that's not too bad. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do then is we'll have our cruisers sit pretty here. And have the battleships. Now I just want to show you guys. Like I, I could try and get in here, but it's not particularly worth my time. It's going to take some effort to engage. Uh, we'll have the cruisers over here then. And in fairness, actually, what I can go ahead and do is move the battleship in here. Well, that said, I, I do want to keep the battleships here. So what we'll do then is... That I'll have to do. Could move there. It doesn't block movement, but it does make it more difficult for them. And then, uh, uh, just for now, 
fact, I want to move that. Maybe I shift down a little bit here. Uh, something like that. It's not going to matter too much. The Russians will come. One of their battleships have been dealt damage, and the others have also taken damage, but not a huge amount of damage. We can't currently move forces across to Korea right now. I could send the uh, Tsushima up there to reinforce if needs be. But I'm going to have a second flotilla, a second fleet really formed around here. And that's just to ensure security here. Uh, the area around Vladivostok may fall out soon enough, but we'll see about that. Okay. So I don't have anything to spend right now. I'm hoping that if we move quickly enough, then things will work out. So Korea has surrendered. We plundered 146, which is going to be pretty useful. Okay. We have a supply depot here now. Imperial Navy regroups of Sasebo. Front the Battle of Port Arthur. So these uh, torpedo boats are going to be very, very useful. Torpedo boats from the Russians. 242 MP there. Okay. How will the Russians respond? Yeah, I can see them moving to the co Well, moving to the Galuga. Uh, I do have to point out, by the way, guys. Um, ooh, in about 30... Maybe in about another 10, 20 minutes. I will have to let my girlfriend into the accommodation. Uh, we live on a student accommodation, so... And there's only the one key, which is always a great deal of fun. So, I'd be gone for just two minutes, give or take, when that moment comes. Okay, so that morale has recovered quickly enough. I could move fairly quickly into here. Uh, we do have a line of sight, uh, which is very useful. We have information here, reconnaissance, which is very good. Makes life easy. Right, so what we'll do then is we'll use our cruiser to gain information. It's going to see a torpedo boat over here. Okay. Right, torpedo boat. I'll engage with the Azumo. Should retreat more than likely. Oh, it's not going to retreat, which is fine. That means we can actually sink that. So, we'll have you return. Right, we do take out the... Top Peter boat there. Uh, we're aware now of mines, which is not exactly ideal. Uh, enemy contact there, and that locks me in position, which is really not good. Uh, so we have mines here and here. And I'm very close to the enemy, and I'm likely... Right, okay. That wasn't great. The SMR is going to take some hits. Uh, which is not fun. Okay, we do find another torpedo boat to engage with, so we will. Oh, wow. That was a really good, really good hit there. Okay. They need to enter into port so I can repair them next turn. Uh, I'll use a battleship to finish this. May maybe use a battleship over here. Uh, doubt that one. I do have my own topic of boats over here if I so wish to use them, but I'm going to keep them in just reserve until I figure out where the battleships are. So I'll finish off this top of the boat. Like so. I will use one of these top of the boats then just to gain information. Uh, enemy contact is not exactly ideal there. I'm really... Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, that's not brilliant at all. Oh, and... Okay. That was my bad bag over the mines. I should have checked that line. No. That's not looking worthwhile. Yeah, exactly zero. Uh, it's exactly the issue. <laughs> that's a good one. Alright, I wonder how much damage we have here. Alright, they've recovered some of that damage. It's not exactly ideal. Right. I'm going to go ahead and actually take out the top hit about there. Or at least attempt to. Oh, goddamn, I need to stop doing that. It's because I'm not looking at the red line. That's my bad. Right, okay. Yeah, 
She's like, she's going to take some hits. The problem is if I move up that spot, this armor, I'm going to take hits as well. Uh, that was an ideal, but at least we have taken out the torpedo boats there. Mm, but again, not an ideal situation. I could place mine to support her. Do I have the range for that? Yeah, kind of. I could prevent at least a direct engagement on her. Or try. Now, obviously, she's in a similar position here, but... Mm, it's... Um, probably not worth it having done that, but... Well, we'll just have to commit to it for now. In Korea, we are going to force march. And the real reason here is I, I need to be in a position to like start putting pressure on the Russians quickly. Otherwise, they will, will build up forces very, very fast. So I do have the additional uh, to put about, so she's going to go north. I am going to need them. Especially if I lose one shortly enough. Alright. I need to bring forces up this way. And I need to bring a large amount of them. Okay. Uh, I forgot to press that one, but that's okay. And I will bring the crews to support them, actually. I do want to drop them off around this sort of area. Well, I mean, the port over here at Pyongyang. Oh, uh, near, po uh, near Pyongyang. Uh, Chimpo. That's where we're going to drop the troops off. Ideally as far north as possible. See, I have to spend a large amount of military production points here to actually get the troops across, but I, I can't not do that. So what I should go ahead and do here then is they'll likely be distracted by attacking the cruiser and the torpedo boat there, which is not the most ideal situation. So we'll have a larger amount of men ashore soon. Mm, I can't really afford anything here. Hmm. Have to let it be for for now. But at least we do have our troops fairly far forward. Yeah, okay. That that was gonna happen. That's not that's not good. Okay, so we lose the BB, which is not good. Uh but the Russians are committed. Yeah, the Russians are fully committed over here, Ben, so that's not too bad actually. Uh the cruiser should take bombardment here if Oh okay, okay, okay. So we do lose the high blue and we do lose the Mikasa. But that's not bad. The Russians have committed though. So I can use that. Damn, this mouse moves quick. Yeah, I can go ahead and use that. I 
And we do have a good deal of forces in the area. We also do have our uh, speed boats that have just arrived on the air. Uh, well, just basically arrived on the station, so that's fantastic news then. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and hit the Russians here. Now this is a cruiser, so I'm not too concerned about dealing with that with the uh, speed boats. That was in there. That's better at least, but not amazing. Right. Uh, she needs to be withdrawn. I may need to use the other bit of boats here, but we'll see about that. Um... Having some mines down here would be nice to try and prevent their uh, retreat, but I think we should be okay. The Russians are well and truly in us here, but we should be able to win this. Yeah, that's a good result there. And we can have that finish off with a cruiser here then. So that'd be the Poltava. Hey, good night, Archer. It's good to have you. I wasn't looking there, but I think did we get that. I, I did look away at that moment, so I'm going to assume that we sunk that. So I didn't actually see. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we have the cruiser here, but we also have the battleship. We'll deal with the battleship then. How would the torpedo boat do here? That's not too bad. Except when they don't actually land the goods there. Still waiting for the ice to melt. Hmm. I'll engage with the battleship here. I'm assuming that we take, well, we took out one, which does at least equal things to a degree. That was a good roll. Right, they retreat over here. Should be able to manage that. Okay. So looking now towards cruisers. Right, we do take that one out. Uh, only slight damage there to the Kasuga. I don't think I have enough firepower to take out the uh, take out another battleship. Um, not reliably. A cruiser, probably. Uh, it would be nice to lay mines behind them, but I do need to then deal with those mines. And I would like to consider the idea of launch a naval invasion over here. That could be quite interesting. I'd have to do an amphibious. Uh, this is the uh, new DLC that's coming out. This is Imperial Sunrise. It'll be out soon enough, but this is the Sino-Russian War. 1904, 1905, that sort of thing, really. Hmm... I think we could try for the cruiser. It depends on the strength of the battleship there, really. Eight. Okay. Looking at 2-2 two, two there. 2-2. Two, two. That's not a bad trade. Ah, yeah, I get what you mean there. I think versus a, a human opponent, then naval warfare is probably a hell of a lot more challenging, but this one is an interesting scenario. The Russians obviously outnumbered. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I did lose pretty horrifically the first time I played this. It was going well, going very well at first, and then it just suddenly didn't go well, because the Russians had developed uh, a large amount of strength. Alright. Uh, oh, I got you, I got you. I think um, and the battleships have a great uh, op mm. I'll take out the cruiser 
I'm just thinking I, I can't really attribute my force too much. Alright, they back off there. Oh, and they're going to mines. Well, that that's great. They went into their own mines. That's actually a really nice result there. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that one. Alright. So they need to be repaired. Yes, exactly. Alright, okay. Do you want to want to start dropping troops here or do I wait and drop here? These guys need some rest, but if I take up this position, which I can't actually reach right now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how this division will do it. It does need rest. We need to push across here, really. I'm just going to take a defensible position. And I think here, too. Commander needs to catch up. It's not super ideal, but they at least have a forest that end a hill. But I'm thinking I can try and push this way. But there's going to be more Russian soon. I just didn't want to have to engage this core. This is a call, by the way, uh, with a very weak and division. It's tempting to land men, but it would probably be quicker just to march them from here. <sighs> but this may be a trick in them, or at least a capability. I'm going to take, it, it's at least a turn less of movement here on land, and I need to be in position. So we'll have the forces make ready then. Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really expensive there, 175. Wow, okay. That's not really what I want to be going for then. Ouch, definitely not. Okay. Uh, we do have some MPP available here. I don't get cores, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, cavalry is just unbelievably valuable. So I'm going to put some cavalry into production because they are just so very valuable by having that additional reconnaissance. Right. Uh, they need to be pulled back. Right, we'll just have to wait then. Let's go go and check the message. Right, okay, so we do have the melted there, which is handy. Yeah, that's quite the battle there. So seeing quite the quite the exchange there. So we do lose the Oate. 
So, cruiser has been spotted here. The, the Russian fleet will eventually arrive. Okay, brigade spotted in port after defences. Okay. Right, I should at least be able to move my men now. But we are looking at mud over here, which isn't ideal. If I was saying that, clear terrain, but yeah, I'm not moving that far. It looks like mud to me, but apparently it's reading as clear. Interesting. Uh, but at least we can land the men, so we'll go ahead and move the men here. There we go. It, it might have saved us a turn of movement, but it, it just means I can get the men ashore. Uh, artillery as well, very useful. Out of room here, but at least can land the remaining men. Yeah, not much in the way of room here, so we'll land there. So that's the men ashore here. So we see Russian battleship here, Russian battleship. Bring the torpedo boats forward then to right enemy contact, okay. Uh, but we have a good good opportunity here then, so that's not bad at all. So we'll use the torpedo boats to engage. I'm going to use the stronger torpedo boats to engage here. We do see another torpedo boat over here. Uh, should land a, a BB here then, which would be quite nice. Do have another attack. And we'll sink. Yeah, there we go, we got her. Right, okay. Bring up the Kagero. Not a huge deal of damage there, but we're looking to win this. There shouldn't be too many Russian battleships left now. In fairness, I may want to actually keep my own battleships in a greater condition. Okay, yeah, we actually managed to sink the Sevastopol there. And, yeah, that is a great result there. Engage the torpedo boat. I am looking towards a amphibious invasion here, if at all possible. Why well, I avoided those mines, okay. Right, there we go, that's good. Uh, as far as I can tell... We've got control here now, but I can't guarantee it. I will bring. I don't think I can. I don't think I can bombard here, which is a problem. Uh, we'll bring the cruiser over. Right, I'm not seeing anything here. I do have to watch out for mines. Okay, but I can. I can bombard here, then, which is great. Ah, uh, okay. So we do find an enemy torpedo boat, and we do find enemy mines over here, but. Yeah, but we should finish them off now. Mm, do I have any remaining attacks? I would prefer not to use a battleship, but I might not have a choice. Uh, not going to have a choice. We only have the three left. So we'll finish off the torpedo boat over here then. Like so. And then I'll bring a battleship to bear. Now they're in a town, so I can't really properly bombard them, but that's not too bad. I could bombard over here, and that may reduce the supply capacity, which would actually be a tremendously good thing. Yeah, that's reducing the supply capacity, which is actually pretty useful right now. If I can try and make it harder for the Russians, that is really in my interest. Okay. In fact, you can head to Japan. I'm going to need to repair a number of assets here soon enough. Mm. 
can't see to deploy them right now. Um, I may as well move them towards uh, Hiroshima, Shunazuki, maybe worthwhile too. They can just stay up there, it's not worth moving them too far. Uh, I do have these horses over here in Hakodate, so I'll move them down here to uh, Ishikari. Oh, sorry, to Sapporo. Sapporo. Mm. Right. How are we looking then? 44.37. That's not... Not particularly great. But we have one the day here, which is a useful thing to have. I could recruit additional men, but... I'm going to need MPP to move uh, men across. I collect 227 there. I am going to use the uh, remaining battleships here then to bombard. Okay, so it looks like the Russians are trying to move a brigade there. Nigata. Okay. Ah. Russian Admiral is killed there. Okay. Talking about has been spotted. I think Vladivostok... Yeah, Vladivostok is free, so I do need to deal with that very soon. Nigata, I was thinking about Nigata. Ah, Nigata over here. So, they're probably blockading around here, then. They're likely over here. Hmm. Yeah, it's a great, it is a grand old beer, though, isn't it? Alright. Okay, they can move now. That's good. I'll put them to see where I can, actually. Right. I should be able to land these guys, perhaps. Yeah, I can. That's great news, actually. So we'll have them prepared to land. Well, they can't. Oh, damn it. They can't move any further, but that's okay. Uh, these guys can, so that's not too bad. So, 44, 45, 41, 45. Mm, I should really switch these around, in fairness. Imperial Guard's moving up over here. I could move towards Chosin and but it's not especially great. I need to just have mass here to a degree. Mm, I can't move the artillery in position, but I'll have to try and get it in a better position soon. Uh, but at least I do have a good chunk of men behind us. And then what we can do is exchange them, basically. Once I can move into uh, the actual town there, I can at least start building a supply base, but I'm going to keep hitting the actual town here. And I can't use the rest of the fleet now. Right, there are Russian troops over here. Uh, but again, concentration reducing this supply-wise. They do have supply, but this is going to at least cause them a little bit of problem. Uh, they do lose the MPP as well when this happens, which is not a bad thing. It is a good game. I do like it. Um, the uh, Russo-Japanese War is a really interesting scenario as well for the game. And the mechanics work pretty well. Right, so let's reduce that. Let's do a little bit of exploration. A little bit of reconnaissance here. Right, I'm looking towards threatening the Russians where I can. 
Also, gathering information is very useful too. But I would like to land over here, but that's not going to be easy. But at least I could potentially... If I could get something moving here, then cut across with an amphibious landing, that'd be really good. I'd love to get rid of those mines. In fairness, I will need to move additional forces to Japan. So I'm going to begin to move some assets back now. Uh, they could do it being repaired. I think I control the area there. I think we did deal with the um, Russian fleet out at Port Arthur. So we're likely okay. Bit of a risky move here. Yeah, that did pay off, but that was a risky move. They can move up this way then. Okay. Hit by rough seeds there. Right, so the Russians do advance, which is actually really good. I may gain that additional bonus this turn. Uh, but it does mean I can actually bring a lot of force to bear here. That's good. And they do surrender their entrenchment for this. Uh, but they do have a level entrenchment. It's not going to matter all that much. Oh, I do gain my bonus. Wow, they're going to suffer. Yep, they're going to suffer this turn. Uh, I wish I could get the artillery in range. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, that's uh, Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're going to really regret this. Oh, and they remain in position too, so I can just go ahead and wipe them out there. Yeah, there we go. That was that was good. That was very good for us. Right. Uh, I'm going to have Imperial Guards move up because they're the toughest I have. And there's the enemy core over here, which, yeah, you can see they did a lot of damage, but they did damage here too. No, but then this is the problem. Is like once you begin, once you advance, you do open yourself up to the enemy. Supply is really quite poor here. I'm going to move towards this town. Uh, take up some supply here. Hit the supply here. I don't think I can spot. No, not in range. I hate the mines. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It'd be nice if I could damage them with the battleships. I think I can. But it would be much easier if they were outside the town here. But if they do move outside the town, I do get a chance to hit them. Okay, that town's been reduced there. Okay. Right. So it can move quite nicely here. Uh, supply is a bit of an issue, though. To say the absolute least. Uh, I do want to be in a position here where I can hit them. But yeah, this is a problem of supply. I'd love to try and gain more position, but I'm not going to gain that easily. 
They can't really move very easily, can they? Uh, but we'll have to move the outside if we get the opportunity then. Right, I was going to say Russians maybe here, but we did actually manage to get lucky here. Uh, we will have to deal with the river crossing, which is not exactly ideal, but mm, it is what it is. I just need to have supply build up here and have mass build up here. Free out here is not too bad at all. Uh, I can drop additional troops over here, so I will go do uh, go ahead and do that. Another good commander too. Right. And more troops can be dropped over here then. In the form of the 1st Division. So that's looking good. We, we do have... Um, Two commanders here, so once Oku moves up, then we'll have two very good commanders. I need to then push across. Um, do I want to save an amphibious? I think I probably would like to do that. Okay. I'm going to have uh, the Japanese fleet print a port until I need them. The forces of reliable stock I can deal with a little bit later on, but not that uh, big of a priority. I just want to try and save some points now and use that to just beef up what I have. Next time they should be able to learn it. And by beef up I mean just like produce more. Artillery would be very nice, I must admit, but I may... I don't know, it's a tough one to say. Hmm. I think I'll go with some artillery then. Okay. So we have time here for perhaps one more turn. This is only a short stream of just an hour, but it's a pretty good stream, if I dare say so myself. Right, so this Russian core over here then, so they've been reinforced, so they're not going to be attacking this turn. Uh, right, we do have our commander over here. Okay, we have another torpedo boat, deploy that, and we have cavalry, which is excellent. Do need cavalry. One fifty six, it's really, really tempting to actually. I think I should save for that, because if I can actually drop Amphibious over here, that would be a it'd be a very big decision to make. But I could try and make uh, a move towards like Kaiping. But I'd really need a port. If I have a port, then I can actually ensure supply. I see anybody. No. Okay. Can't attack from there, but they can attack. If I have them attack, I can have them recover then after. And they do have that bonus. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, it, mm. I can't really throw men uh, away like that. I think I need position right now. Soon enough the artillery gain to range there. Cover these men to be ready to move here. But yeah, at least I should be able to land attacks on them. I didn't actually mean to do that, I must I must admit. But um Yeah, <laughs> I didn't I, I need to stop doing the left click. Uh because I, I didn't actually intend to attack there, but I attacked and that uh, wasn't part of the plan. I 
I think I may need more men here, but we'll see about that. Alright. So I'm aware that you Russians here. Get behind them. And in front of them. Having a commander out here would be really nice. Hmm. I really need this commander in a position where they can help with supply. Right, we'll attack here. I'm going to try and degrade their position. Ideally, I could force them to give up the town. Like so. I can't take it right now, but ideally next turn I can take it. Which gives me a supply source of a kid at Jan. I don't know that. Wow, that was an Alexa that scared the hell out of me. Wow, that scared me. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Oh, okay, that kind of scared me. Okay. Uh, let's see. 378. Mm. Let's get these men. Uh, at least the cavalry, that is. I think I'll have them. I'm going to need them more probably up this way. I'll have cavalry here soon enough. Right, there we are. Right, move some additional men here. Uh, they can't, they could make it here. It's a bit of a risk. But we'll risk it for a biscuit. Works out for now. I'll put some men over here just to pose a little bit of a threat. I'm going to begin training another division and uh, Charles are here. I know I was thinking about saying for amphibious, but I'm going to need to have like a, a fairly steady supply of new men. Alright. See how this turn goes. Right, they reinforce. The Russians out here, which I can jump on. At least, we'll, at least we know where they are. I can work with that. Okay. No gear. So we'll be finishing off here in about a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. I can bombard with artillery, which is good. So 70, 78, let's see what we can do about that. Yeah, that reduces readiness and morale quite nicely. Very nicely. I think it reduced that entrenchment too. I didn't quite get to see that, but I think it did. Alright, 3-5. 3-6. But is the... Actually, I actually don't seem to be affected by the river, so we'll go, we'll go for it. Um, Maybe I'm back first there. I haven't actually checked. Right, we do manage to shatter the core. And actually do it very effectively. Cool. Right, very nice. And we know there's a commander here. So I'm fairly safe to move up. They don't have an attack. Does anybody have an attack? They don't have an attack. That's not ideal, but I can work with it. Uh, they'll be in a position to threaten nonetheless. There's likely going to be men over here. Oh, it's on the schedule? Okay, that's cool then. Then yes, I will be back Thursday. I, don't, I forgot I don't know what I'm doing first, eh, but <laughs> we'll have to check. Right. We'll go over there. Okay, so we do find Russians, but I can move just around them. But we'll be done in really, really just a minute now. Actually, I want... Uh, yeah, it's okay. Right. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and finish up here. So thank you for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you again in the very near future. So take care, stay sexy, stay safe, and stay hydrated. Until next time. Au revoir. Thank you. Bye-bye.